I'm making a short video to demonstrate a very rare vintage watch from the 1950s. This is a Jaeger LeCoultre Futurematic. But what makes this one really rare is that it's the solid 18 karat gold model. It's also the, the European issue watch. Uh, they called it the SR497. Um, most of these were for the North American markets. The dial would be marked LeCoultre. The movement would be marked LeCoultre. In this case, the dial and the movement are Jaeger LeCoultre. It's all as it should. So I'm being very careful not to move the watch. And one of the, the functions that makes the Futuromatic special is you see it's not running right now. The power reserve indicator is all the way depleted. And the way, what Jaeger LeCoultre did is they crafted this watch so there would always be some reserve left. And as soon as you put the watch on and moved a little bit, so let's just show how this works. So I'll simulate a few winds. And you can, oh, I'm going to take more net. There we go. You can see that it starts working right away. So you put it on your wrist, you, know, you move for 15 seconds, and then it starts working. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to simulate now wearing the watch for a while so you can see the power reserve indicator move and it was all the way on the bottom. Bear with me. All I'm doing is I'm simulating the watch being on my wrist and having movement. Let's see, I'm going to take I'm going to do a little bit more. Very few of these were made and it is the solid 18 karat gold is really really nice. I'm starting to move a little bit. Bear with me. Be patient. Alright, gonna do it a little bit more. Okay, and you can see now the power reserve indicator has moved. We'll do it again. The watch actually has a, uh, a rather large mainspring. And now you can see it's there. So this watch has been fully serviced. I'm also going to show the other function of this watch. You never lift up on the back button. You slide that in, and when, when that is slid inward, now you can see the watch isn't running anymore. This has a hacking feature, and then that allows someone to set the watch to the exact second. And it's a little futzy, but that's the way it was designed. I'm going to take my glove off because it's tough to wind with the glove. And then what you do is with the back button, now you can set the time to where you want it. And then you slide this back and the watch starts running again. Let's do some more winding. And it does take a long time for these watches to wind from a dead stop all the way to the full power reserve. But you imagine, you know, you're wearing the watch over a 10 hour work day. And the watch will always be fully wound. And then you can see the reserve has moved again. So in summary, a vintage, and this was crafted in 1957, solid 18 karat gold, Jaeger LeCoultre Futurematic, also known as an SR497. It does, it is a screw back. Everything is appropriate. It's a really cool watch. It's actually a large watch. It's a, it's a massive watch by vintage standards. The, uh, the, the diameter of this, I can't, I can't remember now. But it'll be, I'll list the diameter of the watch on the eBay listing. Uh, it is a very good size.
Sorry for the long video, but there was a lot to demonstrate. Take care. Bye-bye.